Hi, my name is Scott Galt, and I'm with the uh, Bank of Tampa. I'm the market president here in Pinellas County. So Bank of Tampa, we've uh, been here in uh, the Tampa Bay region now for uh, almost 34 years, founded by Jerry Divers, and uh, we have offices throughout Hillsborough County. And back in 2012, we opened our first office in downtown St. Pete. We are in the process of uh, opening our second Pinellas County office on the corner of Brian Derry and Belcher uh, by May 1st of this year. At some point, we will round out the county with four offices in Pinellas County, and we're about to break ground on our third office in Clearwater on South Fort Harrison and Jasmine. And after that, we will be looking for offices in the uh, northern part of Pinellas County. We are a true community bank. We're about 1.5 billion in size right now in asset size, which is a sizable community bank, but we can offer everything, all services, all the uh, know-how uh, that any of the large regional banks offer. All our decisions are made right here locally. Some of the members of our board have been on the board since the inception of this bank. We have no private equity money invested in our bank. We have no Wall Street money invested in our bank. We are truly a locally owned, locally operated community bank. The majority of our, our clients are on the commercial side. We work with uh, a number of commercial clients throughout the Tampa Bay region. I would say anywhere from a $1 million in revenue size up to $100 million in revenue size. But our typical client is probably in the 5 to $20 million range as far as revenue size. Broad array of, of industries. We bank a lot of law firms here in the Tampa Bay region. We bank a lot of physician firms here. And in the uh, northern and mid-county of Pinellas County, we work with a lot of manufacturing companies as well. Most of our offices now, uh, especially here in Pinellas County, all of our offices in Pinellas County, no longer have what we would call, say, a teller desk or, or a teller line. We've gone to more of a concierge type of service or a universal banker type of service where somebody may come into our office and we have a banker that's kind of trained in, from a high-level perspective of all levels of banking where they can talk to this person as they come in and then direct them to the right space or right person to speak to after that. Uh, we just don't have the line transactions that you would um, typically see 10, 15 years ago because a lot of that has gone to online type of banking. 